Welcome to the Infinite Life Podcast. I'm your host, Katish Haverfield. This podcast is a journey of discovery as we learn how the soul evolves over various incarnations to understand all about the complexities of being a human being who has to bravely navigate viewing life as a non-dualistic struggle between good and evil through consciousness-raising experiences that test our valour. Welcome back to the Infinite Life Podcast. I'm your host, Katish Haberfield, and we are in Season 8 of the podcast. Season 8 is a fascinating season because I invited participants to go upon the Healer's Path. Now, the Healer's Path is a set of three regression sessions that I was taught when I did my training with Mark Beal from the Past Life Institute. And in this, it's, we take participants on an examination of their soul's history in terms of determining how, where, why, and when to become a healer and how the soul has journeyed across various lifetimes, including the current one, in its learnings and the things that have helped and hindered the soul in becoming a healer in the present lifetime. We also then take the final step forward to going to the life between lives and seeing what does the future hold? What is the future of this lifetime or potential lifetimes? What is your soul setting up this lifetime for your healer's path? So one of the unique things that I'm going to do in this season is that I have invited some of the guests to record their own thoughts on the sessions and so this week you will meet Trudy Mellons. Trudy Mellons is going to be our first guest and she's going to be the one talking to you over the next three episodes telling you the intro and welcome you to each session and then at the end of the third session she'll give you her overview. So I hope you enjoy getting to know some of our guests a little better. Thank you once again for joining us on the podcast. Take care of yourself. Namaste. Hello to you all, you lovely podcaster listeners and YouTube viewers. Welcome, a big warm welcome to the Infinite Life podcast, I have to think there, with Katish Haberfield. You may have noticed I am not Katish, no. My name is Trudy from planetmailings.co.uk and I took part in the Healer's Path three sessions with Katish. I'm introducing you to my first one. Now, as we all know, Katish has her own unique, special, amazing brand of magic and works via meditation, as do I. Thought I knew what was going to go on. I had a few preconceived ideas as oh, I do meditations, etc, etc. But that's not quite what happened. The first one, because it was to do the regression therapy, so you go to your past lives and then you do a future progression. So my first one, and I'm not going to give away too much because I really want to. I'm so bad at keeping secrets. Basically, it's from memories from this life, okay? Because obviously this life is the culmination of maybe what's blocking the healer's path. Is the way, the only way to think about it. So here I am. Going into the regression, I will tell you, I was sobbing in the regression. I was sobbing when I re-watched it. Although, what Katish did with that memory, she didn't get rid of it. She didn't change the memory. <coughs> she changed the perception around it. Now, that in itself was amazing. Who did we have turn up? Well, Archangel Michael turns up throughout, and I'll tell you about those in the next two videos when I introduce my next sessions two and three. Pops up, so clearly he is somebody that's been in the background, and I do call on him a lot when we go to the Akashic Records because he, uh, he's protector, he's the angel of truth. So, yeah, he's a great one to have on your side, and he comes up. In a way that I 
unless I had been in that meditation and you guys that are going to watch it would never ever have thought I hope I'm making you go Ooh, I want to listen and I want to watch this it's amazing and I rewatched it again still blows my mind what Katish has done and how she did it and the effect it's had on me since so enjoy it I have no words for the first session I have no words I don't want to give it away I'll say a little bit more in sessions two and three for you suffice to say that it was from this past life so it's not just about a sad and painful memory to balance that um, Katish gets you to realize how much people around you need you or not need that's probably the wrong way of saying it but appreciate you and your strengths and how you help them without you even realizing that you help them and is that just part of your trait and personality or is that part and parcel of the fact that I'm on a healer's path it's just it's mind-blowing it's amazing and I had a great time as much as I was sobbing oh, really sobbing and I sobbed when I watched it and you if you cry you don't I'm not telling you you have to blub your eyes out it everyone's affected by people's stories in different ways i hope you really enjoy it because i did i yeah it sounds weird but i really did it was amazing what she was able to do for me throughout the session it was just over an hour i had technical difficulties difficulties as always at the beginning but yeah katish just guides you and knows what to say sometimes has to throw the script out it never goes according to plan when you're working with spirit and you're going into a meditation and you're regressing into past this past life or past lives it never goes how you expect it to go and it certainly didn't go how i expected as i say i work in the akashic realm through guided meditations and as much as i knew what to expect i.e meditative side didn't expect what happened at all bringing out a memory that I had forgotten. I know we all forget things, but just managing to make me pick a memory from my childhood, which is a weird one. It is a weird one. Even Katish laughed and I laughed when I listened to it again. Just, yeah, things that you bury and you forget, but have a significant impact and have meaning for you at the time and actually you carry it through for you as, as well into this life as you go through it so enjoy the first session it gets better it gets wilder and it it is a blast so enjoy it thank you for listening to me rabble on i am trudy not katish <laughs> as you can quite clearly see and hear there is only one katish see you in session two and three Now you are completely surrounded by divine love and white light. And every breath you take takes you deeper. And now I want you to follow the numbers down as I count backwards from five down to zero. Beginning with five, feeling the weight of your head. With your eyes closed, turning your eyes upwards as if looking down towards your forehead, then letting a warm, heavy, pleasant energy flow down, aware of the air in your skin, and three, the feeling within, down deeper into the heart, beating, sending a warm, loving energy through your body, aware of your pulse, flowing down to your legs, down to the soles of your feet, heavier, and heavier, letting that sleepy, heavy, daydreamy feely take over. And I wonder if it reminds you of one time watching a late night movie, trying to stay awake, but feeling half asleep, with your eyelids so heavy, 
trying not to close yet closing and feeling the relief as you inevitably allow yourself to relax completely. You could still hear that movie, but you could also tune into your own movie and how good that felt to finally hear your inner voice say, it's okay to relax, Trudy. Slowing down deeper with every heartbeat, breath and number. Now with zero. It's time to give permission to your imagination. Don't try to analyze, force, correct or second guess yourself. Simply say whatever comes to your mind. And I want you to imagine, visualize or feel a staircase with 10 steps that can take you down to a door into a safe, comfortable white room where you can access all your memories and experiences from this and other lifetimes. So notice the colour and texture of your staircase and start going down the staircase. Imagine or feel your feet stepping down now, going down deeper with each step, deeper down with every breath, with ten, nine, eight, Seven, slow down, deepen, six, the subconscious, five, doesn't mind, four, getting to the bottom, three, ready to step, in, two, your white room, with one, now, be there, so at the bottom of the stairs, Reach out to open the door and find a white room with a comfortable chair. Make it however you would like to decorate it as you go inside and sit and settle back into the comfortable chair. And imagine in front of you there is a cinema screen with a relaxing scene, like a beach, a lake, a garden or a favourite place in nature. Just focus on my instructions and let your inner experience flow so you act as a witness, simply watching your stream of consciousness. Whatever you think is the right thing. And in a moment, Trudy, you can recall or imagine a time in your past when you felt good in or around water. It could be any moment from months, years or decades ago. It could be a swim in an ocean a river, or a lake. It could be on a recent or childhood holiday. It could even be a shower or bath just a couple of days ago. But one specific moment, one memory of being in or around water that is good and happy for you, come up now. Choose one. Let that one memory be the right one. Bring it into focus. And Trudy, I wonder, is that place in water outdoors in nature or indoors in a home? Outdoors. Okay, and I want you to imagine that you can place either your toe or your finger into the water and tell me, is it warm water or cool water? It is freezing. Freezing. Okay. Now, I want you to fully step into the water and into the scene and be back in that moment in time now. I want you to look around to see what you saw and listen to hear what you heard. And most importantly, I want you to notice the feeling of the water on your skin and notice the feeling within. Does the water provide you with a freedom like being engulfed and floating on the ocean or is it a cleansing feeling? Both. Both, okay, beautiful. So notice how you experience the recall of this moment in time. Is it like a photograph or a movie? It's a movie. Beautiful. Notice how you can choose to have your own virtual fast-forward button and go deeper into the scene. And I want you to imagine you can let this sensation of the water so can saturate through you. Blue or translucent, warm or refreshing, cleansing and healing. Continue to find ways you can recall and relive more vividly in ways best for you. As you continue to do that, we can observe what may be implied in that moment at a deeper level because we think of ourselves as solid, yet the human body is really 60% water. 
we think of this as planet Earth, yet the surface is really 70% ocean. We think of ourselves as our conscious mind, yet our subconscious mind is really the majority. Now you can tune into your subconscious realities of your being. You can experience mental relaxation at a subconscious level and you can access long-term memory stored in your subconscious mind. In a moment, Trudy, you can recall or imagine a moment early in your childhood in this lifetime with one of your first friends. You may not have thought about this person for some time, but now you can recall a first or early childhood friend. Let one specific moment with one specific friend come up now. Choose just one moment and let that moment be the right one. Bring it into focus like you're focusing a camera and step into the moment. Trudy, I'm wondering, is your friend a boy or a girl? A girl. Girl. And about how old are you both in that moment? Six. Six or seven. Okay. And do you remember her name? Yes. Zoe. Zoe. Okay. Now I want you to step fully into the moment and look around to see what you saw and listen to hear what you heard. But most importantly, I want you to notice the feeling within, how you feel when you're around Zoe. And in this moment, what are you doing with Zoe? It's quite strange. I'm sitting on my stairs. She's sitting in her house on her stairs, and we're talking through the wall. Okay. All right. Very good. <laughs> Chinese whispers. Yeah. Excellent. Now, I want you to imagine, even though you're in two separate abodes, that you can focus in on her face. Okay. And yes. what I want you to do is to notice how she smiles. Okay. And I want you to hear her voice and her laughter. And feel the sense of connection and friendship between you. Okay. Let that childlike energy and laughing and joyful and playful friendliness so can saturate through you. That it fills you up. Your subconscious mind can remind you of old friends and positive inner resources. Now you are connecting with your own subconscious and your subconscious mind can be a good friend to you, Trudy. You can set an intention and you can repeat quietly inside your mind. I ask my subconscious mind to help me access events of this life that can help me as a healer. I ask my subconscious mind to help me access moments that can help me as a healer. You have the inner resources you need to be a healer. Your subconscious mind can give you examples of these abilities from times in your past. Search through your personal history for a time and place in the past in this life, a specific moment in this life of reconnecting with healing abilities, an early or first time of awakening as a healer or recognizing your talent as a healer. This may be like a spiritual experience that would lead you to a healing. It could be a moment of inner knowing or inner healing with yourself or a moment of helping, healing or being inspired to heal others or motivation or confidence. This is a resourceful state you can reconnect with. I will count down from three to zero and at zero you'll be able to recall or imagine any moment of awakening to or recognizing a talent or calling as a healer. Drifting back with three to a moment of awakening or recognizing healing abilities. Back to a moment with two. Focusing, hearing, feeling with one. Ready to step into the scene and feel the feeling with zero now be there. First impression, in that moment, are you inside or outside? Inside. 
Is it morning, afternoon, or evening? The middle of the night. Okay. And if it's the middle of the night, are you in? Where are you? I'm a police officer. I'm at the police station. Oh, you're at the police station. Okay. Okay, so what's happening in the police station? We've had a lady come in and she's been raped. Okay. And I'm a sexual offences investigation officer. Mm-hmm. And it's my job mm-hmm. to, to look after her, take her to get examined and take all her statements over many days and weeks. Okay, all right. Now, what I want you to do is to focus in on the moment in this scene where you have this realisation of connection and instant understanding of your ability to help and heal people. What is the moment in this scene where you have a realisation about your ability to help in relation to this lady or in general? I just know I can help. Mm-hmm. I know I've got the empathy, mm-hmm. the personality, mm-hmm. just to help her through and help her to do what she needs to do over the coming weeks and months. Just beautiful. the knowing. The knowing, beautiful. Okay. And what I want you to do is to just take a look into her eyes and don't see her despair, but what I want you to see is how she is connecting with you and how she's relating to you and how she appreciates you. What are her eyes telling you? Just the gratitude. And that someone's going to listen to her. Okay, perfect. So I want you to lock that understanding in so you can see it as a key strength. And I want you now to take us forward in time to another moment where you've helped someone else and only realized that you helped them due to their feedback and affirmation. Let me know about that moment in time and what comes up for you. Where have you helped somebody and not realized that you were helping them at that moment? Just I do it so often. That it's hard to find one. Okay, so let one that is a surprise come forward now. So it's one where you didn't realise until afterwards. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Just my friend. Just being my friend's friend. Okay, being your friend's friend. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And how exactly did you make her feel better? I just listen to her and make her laugh and take her out of her place where she is not comfortable. Mm -hmm. And we just, yeah, we just be, we just do friend stuff. Okay. Great. So I want you to reconnect with the shift in feelings that you created in her and reconnect with the gratitude she must have felt for you. And reconnect with the feeling of recognition that you now have inside yourself, that even in friendship, you are able to be a great healer to people. And now I want you to move forward to another moment in time where you can reconnect with a moment that you may have forgotten about, where you helped yourself with self-healing, where you were able to learn from a situation that required healing and applied that to help heal yourself. I want you to reconnect with the shift in feelings you created for yourself and reconnect with a sense of accomplishment or knowing that you felt then. Feeling that feeling now and reconnecting with the feeling of recognition that you can heal yourself. And Trudy, what was this moment in time? When I realized a very important person in my life was a covert narcissist and managed to disentangle myself. Okay, great. And in this moment in time, how did you heal yourself? It was just the realization that uh, 
it it isn't me. Mm-hmm. Everything isn't my fault. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was actually, I am a good person and I don't need to prove it to this person because that's just the way they are. Okay, beautiful. Now, I want you to just to feel the gratitude to yourself that you are able to recognize that and to remind yourself with the key knowing that you are a fabulous person. And I want you to access now an overall summary of yourself in words, pictures and feelings, or even colors, anything that springs to your mind immediately that you can use as a symbol towards the type of talent and potential that you have as a healer. Okay, I get two colors. I get violet and I get red. Beautiful. Okay. And any words or feelings? The purpose of this is just to lock in these. So if you ever have any doubt, you can come back to these words, colors, and feelings. Feeling is not power because that's just, that word doesn't feel right. Just this feeling of awesomeness. Okay, perfect. Awesomeness. Excellent. All right. And any images come forward? An image of symbol? Yeah, it's very strange. It's just clouds, the the colors just swirling and this feeling of, yeah, awesomeness. Perfect. All right. So lock this in, really embed it. And where will this go into in your body? Where does the, where do these feelings of awesomeness and these colors and symbols belong in your body? It, it, I need to put this into my heart. Heart? And into okay. roots. Okay. Beautiful. So do that now. Okay. Perfect. And so any time in the future that you have any slight feelings of doubt at all, I want you to come back to this moment and look for those colors, those symbols, and those feelings, and they can be a positive resource for you that you can bring up at any moment in time. Okay. Okay. So you have now reconnected with this realization and the feeling of awakening and recognizing your talents and calling as a healer. Let this awesome feeling fill your whole being. And now this feeling can move into the background. Yet this inspiration, motivation, and confidence can come back to your conscious mind more often and have your back as we go through issues that come with being a healer. Now we can go back to a cause of event that seems to be having a negative effect on your journey to becoming a healer or your healer's path. It can be a specific moment in this life that is months, years, or decades ago. If you're ever uncomfortable with the experience, simply float above it and watch it from the distance. This could be related to an initiation into healing or a healing crisis that is often part of the healer's path, but may have been difficult to manage at the time or difficult to integrate into daily life later affecting your ability to set an intention and dedication to progress further down the healer's path. So allow any memories to arise relating to initiation, integration, or intent, with three returning to a significant time, back to a causative event related to being a healer. So let one specific moment come up and interfocus now. In that moment, are you inside or outside? Inside. Okay. And I want you to tell me how old you are. It's okay. Let any emotion flow that needs to. You're okay. You're safe. I'm three, maybe four. Okay. Okay. And what's happening, Trudy? Know that you're safe. You're safe. If it's too much, just float up on high. No, you're safe. My father's raping me. Okay, darling. 
I'm really sorry that you had to come back to this moment, but there's obviously some wisdom here that needs to be shown to you. And it's very important for you to let out excess emotion now in any way that you feel best and safe because your soul no longer wants you to hold on to this moment in time, okay? Don't want this to hold you back any further, okay? Okay. Now, what I want you to do, Trudy, is I want you to notice, is there a silver thread that you have pushed to the side to help you cope with this moment? Have you created a frozen moment in time where your personality goes over to be safe, to protect you mentally? Yes. Yes. There is. I just create a space where I'm a happy place. Okay. All right. So I want you to move your attention from the scene where you're being harmed and look over to her. Look over to the little Trudy. Okay. And I want you to look deeply in her eyes. And now you, the big Trudy, can reach out to her, take her hand gently, and to invite her to step back into your life by giving her a hug. You, the big Trudy, the grown-up adult Trudy, can be the little Trudy's best friend, okay? Okay. You can reassure her that it's safe for her to step back into your life and rejoin you and integrate wholly into the big Trudy's life. Is there anything that you need to say to her to reassure her to step in? She's here. We're hugging. She's loving it. Okay. I'm loving it. Okay, perfect. So hug her, and then when you're ready, invite her to literally step back into your body. Or if you need to, cut that silver th cord so that she can just step back in and reabsorb herself into you. She has. Okay, beautiful. And now that she's back integrated with you, what energetic feeling that you were missing have you now regained? Joy. Joy. Beautiful. So I just want you to allow the joy to reintegrate. So just take a moment to feel the joy. And now what we're going to do is we're going to ask your inner wise adult to come in and also the spirit guide that was with you at the time that this was happening. Because what I want you to see in your own eyes is that even though terrible things happen to us, there is still always a spirit guide with you at all times, even though you may not notice them there. So Trudy, I want you to become aware of the energetic presence of the spiritual being who was there with you when this awful event happened. Okay. If you don't know who they are, I want you to hold your hand out so that you can connect via feeling first. And then I want you to describe what their energy feels like. It's an angel. Mm -hmm. It's an important angel. I don't know. This angel has come and gone before, but won't tell me who they are. Okay. They just tell me I know. Okay. And what color does this angel represent themselves as? Is there any color? Blue. Blue. Okay. And is this a big angel? Massive. Massive, massive. wing. Okay. I think you do know, Trudy, because I know who it is immediately. Is it Michael? It is Michael, yes. Okay, so hello, Michael, my dear friend. Thank you for protecting Trudy at this time. And Michael wants to reestablish this connection now, Trudy. Because you associated his presence with this negative moment in your life, you may have blocked him. So what I want you to do is really absorb and feel and hold his hand. And the reason why I find it amusing that he's one of your guides is because he's the funniest angel I have ever met. <laughs> and he matches your personality perfectly. This okay. 
This angel loves to have a good joke. He's all about enlightenment and lighting up and cracking jokes, Trudy. So you're going to love being around him. Excellent. Good. Yeah. He's a really good. <laughs> he likes to teach true humor. Okay. And he has he is quite sarcastic and has a bit of a wit about him. I so, am very sarcastic, yes, yes. Very. Okay, so thank you, Archangel Michael. And now Archangel Michael is going to show you how he was protecting you, even though you don't see it as protection at that moment. What is it that he was doing? there and then. Oh, that's nice. He's showing me that as much as he was actually wrapping me in his wings physically, when I took myself to my, or just took myself mentally away from the situation, he was also oh, wrapping me in his beautiful gossamer wings. They're gorgeous. Mm. Just holding me in my mental and my physical state. Beautiful. Beautiful. So can you see now, Trudy, that even in your worst moments, you do have people there for you? And Absolutely. You are protected in a way that you don't understand okay yeah now what I want you to do is looking back with your inner wise adult I want you to know what you need to know about this scene and this situation so that you can get get calm and clarity to review the scene in terms of initiation integration and intent as a healer so what I want you to do is to find out what wise message you need to know about this experience. We're not justifying the experience. We're just mm -hmm. understanding what it is that is relevant to your healer's path about this moment in time. It's just that. It's a moment in time. Mm -hmm. it, it's not about the pain, although that sadly causes echoes within our soul and with our DNA. Mm -hmm. It's about... Not survival was the wrong word. It's about the coming through and understanding that sometimes it's actually not about you. Um, it's the other person and sadly you're just on the receiving end. Mm -hmm. And just take it. Yeah, just take it. It's a moment. Let the moment go and find the lesson. It's a moment in time. Okay. Just let that rock go. Let it go. Okay. All right. And I'm wondering if you can ask your inner wise self to tell you what limiting belief you have created as a result of that experience. Wow, that I am invisible. Okay. Okay. So what I would like you to do is give your younger self a hug and in your mind Give her the reassuring words that she needs to hear and even mental resources and emotional resources that she needs and do that now. And I'd like you to remind your younger self that exactly as you said already in your own words, it's okay to have challenging events and emotions, and sometimes these negative and painful moments can be what we need to grow as a healer, even as difficult as that moment was for you. With these sessions that you're experiencing now, we are going to explore your lives to see the repeating and mirroring patterns between this and past lives. It's great to find any emotion to get the deepest cause of blocks and you can look forward to further insights as we explore past life for healers and the resolutions that will come from your inner wisdom. Now, what I want you to do is to invite your younger self to let go of whatever she needs to let go now. And if she needs to, 
create a whole new scene in her mind. She can create an imaginary scene about that so that she can change it to a narrative that helps her. However, she also may choose to leave it exactly it is as it is and just let it go. She may like to see this as like a kite and let it float off into the sky. And then what I would like you to do, Tracy, is that I'd like you to invite Archangel Raphael into this session now. And Archangel Raphael will present himself with the green ray for healing. Now, you may or may not have met him before, but you will begin to see a green color behind your eyes and green over your body. I just want you to give yourself permission to receive Archangel Raphael's healing. This will heal you and your child self emotionally, physically, and mentally. Just soak that in. While you're receiving that healing, I'd also like to invite any of the other angels to come forward to give you healing. And there's a particular angel that is associated with Saint Germain. The Saint Germain is the purple, the violet flame, but there's also a purple, there's also a purple ray and an angel associated with a purple ray. I'm not sure if you've met him. So there's an archangel named Zadkiel and Saint Germain work together. So that's why I'd like to introduce you to Zadkiel today because you're Saint Germain. So you'll see it's a slightly different color of purple hue. Come in now. Mm -hmm. And you'll also notice the presence of Saint Germain who will come in together with him. I just want you to relax and allow yourself permission in your dreams and meditations, in your work as a professional in the Akashic Records to get to know Archangel Zadkiel and the Purple Ray at a deeper level in ways that are best for you. So just allow that healing to absorb and soak through you. And there's no rush here, so just enjoy the healing and let me know when it is complete. Yeah, we're good. They're still here, but it's good. Okay. So they may continue to do healing for you overnight when you go to sleep tonight. So I just want you to take the thought, I am invisible, and I want you to breathe it in deep, hold it and exhale it as though you are breathing fire out of your mouth. So feeling yourself releasing outdated emotions and thoughts regarding I am invisible and exhaling it. And on the inhale, now I want you to inhale positive resources and spit out any negative states that are still there with invisibility. And when you're ready, we'd like to thank all of the archangels, I can't say, archangels, as well as the Ascended Master Saint Germain for coming today. We'd like to thank your inner child who reintegrated. Thank you for her courage for stepping forward today. We'd like to thank your higher self. And we would like to thank any of the unmentioned beings that were also surrounding you with love and healing energy today. In our next sessions, we can continue to regress next time into past lives to find positive resources that enable you as a healer and uncover causes for the blocks on the healer's path. For now, you, Trudy, can feel great because your mind has agreed 
and being able to understand subconscious influences in this life that will lead and relate to understanding past life influences. Once you finish this session, over the next day or two, you can use whatever healing modality creatively to write, paint, or express to continue to heal your inner child and to allow your mind to download teaching lessons from your inner spiritual wisdom. We thank your inner wisdom for its help and ask it assists integrating the memories into your daily life. In the next session, you'll be able to go quicker, easier, and deeper into the hypnotic state to access past lives. In a moment, I'll count you up to five, and at five, you'll be able to come back fully into the moment, feeling good. With one, two, three, four, five. Eyes open, refreshed and aware, feeling good. Wow, 